and so how would you like to be able to post all over social media on all the platforms that you can think of within an hour a day if you spend just one hour a day you can post on every single platform now it can be a little longer than an hour depends on how much uh, quality content how much quality you want to put into your content but you can do really good content every day on all the platforms with just an hour around an hour a day and that's what I do you know I post content all the time I create these episodes I create these videos these podcasts and I post on over 20 platforms every single day and I do that in about an hour of time and I'm going to show you what I do and how you can do it too we're going to talk about that in just a second how can you post everywhere on social media that you want to be on in less or around an hour a day we'll talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you've heard that you should be posting every day right you've heard that you're like oh my god I don't have time to post everywhere uh, and they tell you focus on one platform and that's definitely what you should be doing if you're starting out I'm not telling you that you should you should be doing this crazy posting everywhere when you're starting out that's that's not a good idea because you're going to get overwhelmed with all the platform because you really need to learn how to use each individual platforms before you can start to do this and you know this is something I've been doing for a long time and I started about I guess about a year ago close to a year ago posting on you know 15 20 platforms every single day and recently I talked about it and you know one of the things they call it is syndication you syndicate to all these platforms and I did an episode on syndication and today I thought I'd call I I'd redo it again I'd show a little bit more maybe show different things and also talk about posting on everywhere instead of talking about syndication which some people don't even know what that is right so this is what we're going to talk about today and by the way if you're listening to the audio you really really should be going to check out the video or the blog post at cis 239.jsgagnon.com all right cis 239.jsgagnon.com go check that out all right so let's get right to it let me just share my screen here and kind of show you what the process sort of looks like from a bird's eye view right so I start off with recording a video in a software called OBS now OBS is a free piece of software you can install it on your PC on your Mac you can even do it on Linux if you want and it lets you record your desktop lets you uh, put uh, videos in there lets you put uh, images and you know that's kind of how I I do my my uh videos I recorded them with OBS and I have this intro in there and my outro right and those are videos I have separate that I kind of cue in as I'm as I'm recording you know when I say you know we're going to talk about x uh but first this I'm actually obviously I'm not going outside really quick and and stand in front of my house and saying all that stuff that's a pre-recorded video that I put together and I just kind of click a button in OBS and it it records it on there right so this is kind of what it looks like so I first record the video which in my case is a 30 minute or so video and of course if you wanted to do uh, faster obviously the amount of time it takes you to do the video is going to tie into your one hour a day right so if you're not wanting to spend an hour a day for me it's about an hour and a half and uh, but if you want to spend less time you can do a five minute video right and you, you don't have to use OBS you can record live on your phone you can there's different ways and that's kind of how I used to do it right I used to do lives on my phone and now I, I use OBS because because of the other stuff I'm doing but that's not really what you need to do the point is that you got to start with a video you got to record a video and I use a blog to write a blog post around that video or about that video very similar to it the same topic kind of thing right and in that blog post then I take the text out of it so I end up with two pieces of uh, two assets that I create in within about half an hour right well 
45 minutes I guess because I record the video it takes me about half an hour I do the blog post takes me about 15 minutes so that's 45 minutes of content creation I can do that every day or I can do it once a week it's really up to you but then what happens is I have this automated process that I run through to generate all the pieces I need I generate a short video I generate a video thumbnail a podcast thumbnail a wave file for podcast I generate even a gif for my email uh for my um yeah for my emails and other uh, other releases then I generate a bunch of text files that are based on each of the platforms I'm trying to share to right and then afterwards I share to the to all these platforms right I share to to YouTube I share to uh with my full video I share to LinkedIn I share to Facebook I share to Pinterest I share to in Instagram then I share to click eCourse and then I share to Aweber and that ends up going to Alexa to iHeart Spotify Google Class then it then then I do a story right a short story uh that's another maybe 15 minutes if I add it all up and I share it to Facebook stories to Instagram stories to Snapchat and then I do the video in TikTok so what happens then is I also when the other thing that happens is when I create the blog post right when I create the actual blog post only wire picks up my new blog and shares it to all these platforms blogger reddit tumblr pocket wordpress instapaper twitter live journal and you can even set up a few other things on only wire if you want but that's kind of how I do the sharing of everything all over right I share it uh, to all these platforms using this method right here right this method right here of all these um different uh processes right there's some automation involved in here obviously it's not a standard thing and I'm going to kind of show you a little bit more about this process and one of the things that I'd like to talk to you about is syndication that I'm going to be adding to click eCourse so in click eCourse you're going to be able to go in there you're going to be able to point at a YouTube video or even maybe upload a video depending on the plan you choose the free plan is going to require the video to be on YouTube but you still can do it for free right it'll go and get the video it'll extract the short video out of it it'll extract the video thumbnail based on a position you're saying it'll create and then you can have the text even if you're in your YouTube text if you want or you can create a blog post it'll go and get that text and create a bunch of different little pieces of text for each of your uh, platforms so here's how I do it in my environment right now and clicky e course a syndication is not available right now but if you're interested in being one of the beta testers then reach out let me know either reply to this uh, this uh, if you see this video on, on online or see the podcast or whatever send me a message there's 50,000 different ways well I'm exaggerating but there's lots of ways to connect with me just go ahead and send me a message uh, and we'll do that and and you know what actually if you're still listening and you're interested I actually realized that I did a different thing in my previous uh in my previous um how can I say my previous uh, way of of putting this together let me just go and see what I did because it's actually pretty clearly outlined what to do so I'm just going to go into the previous one that I did here I think I had a text in here um mm -mm -mm. I had a text file where is it it's not there oh maybe I did it in the blog post let's go let's let me go take a look at the blog post let's go to my blog post it was syndication over here this was another a blog post that I did uh, that has to do with the syndication right which is uh and and I explained how to get your syndication um set up for your um for free because I want to uh let me just see what how do I do I had that over here so basically uh this is what you'll need to do um you can go and uh, click e-course no different between I guess I didn't I should probably be so oh there you go yeah so if you're interested basically what you got to do is you got to go to click e-course so you go to click e-course if I'm just going to go here so click ecourse.com right so you go to click ecourse.com where is the link so click ecourse.com you go there you register an account I'm just going to log out because I don't have the uh, um and so what you do is you go there you register an account I've got other blog posts and if you're not sure but basically you click the register link 
let me just make this um, so you're going to click the register account the register link up here you're going to enter your uh, email if you want you click on that um, or you just click on continue as with your Facebook account that's the best way after you're logged in well, actually I can log in right now after you're logged in uh, you go to the you click on the little plus thing and you create a support ticket and you're going to put in here um well it doesn't really matter what you choose here but I guess other comment uh I I I'm interested in syndication so um I saw your episode number 239 and you said you could get a free account for syndication purposes yeah so basically what I'm going to be giving you is if you join the beta program for the syndication you're going to get a free Click eCourse account for six months right so you'll get so I want the six month free um what is it if I click on here I just want to I keep forgetting the names of these so there's different plans on Click eCourse that are f the free plan is going to allow syndication uh, just a certain number of um uh so how many syndication videos you can only do on the free plan you can't actually do any uh I I guess I didn't remember I did that but I, you can do four syndications on the ten dollar a month plan um and that's per month right so that means that you would uh you would only be able to do one a, one a week or or so right on the other plans you can do 12 which and then 35 at the at the to top plan that means you can do at least once a day kind of thing right um and you can do tests and whatever right but basically what you're going to get is the extreme plan uh free extreme 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 plan to do 120 syndication syndication pieces a month right so you'll be able to get that for free for six months and if you don't like it then don't worry about it just don't pay the don't pay the fees after six months right but you're going to get it for free and you're going to be able to do everything else obviously that the that the site supports if you look at this there's a bunch of stuff it's like overwhelm nation right but anyways that's how to get syndication in an automation environment for free now like I said it's it's in development right now so if you're interested you got to go in here and you got to create a support ticket on Click eCourse after registering an account and then you just say that you were interested in syndication and you'd like a free account all right so now let's go to the actual let me just show you how I do the syndication from a geek perspective this is a geek this is geek talk right so first of all what I do like I said is I record the video I'm doing that right now I'm recording an episode right now on my OBS and after the OBS is recorded I basically just give the um I just give the video the name of the episode though that's the other thing so if you look at this if I look at my list basically what I do is I have a folder with all of my um daily content as you can see right here and I give them an, the folder name with the date so that way they're easily sorted they're easily findable I also give because I do episodes I also give a number episode so I can tell which episode I'm on so and I choose a title and I put that title in the folder name I also put that if I go back to yesterday's episode I also put that in the name of the different files right the thumbnail the gif the soundcloud you know if we look at this the soundcloud uh, thumbnail uh, the the trimmed video right the shorter video uh the the the, the wave file for soundcloud that I upload on on soundcloud and other places so I give it everything the name and the reason why you do that is for SEO purposes right when I upload the video to YouTube the video name is shown in the list of files right if I show you for example YouTube here and I go look at these different these videos I uploaded you can see uh, can you yeah you can see that the name of the video right here shows up right there in YouTube right even though nobody can see that whenever they're browsing YouTube it does increase well anyways experts say it does I've never really I don't really know 
you can't know right <laughs> but they say that it does increase the SEO rating of your of your content right so that's why I give everything a name now you if you're doing if you're doing automation obviously you don't have to worry about this the automation will take care of it but if you're doing it manually like I am still and well not anymore I'm running scripts and stuff but if you're doing it manually you're going to want to name things based on the name uh, of the topic right because when you're creating a blog post if I go in here right this blog post that I did right uh, one of the SEO strategies is that you give the title your blog post you give it a title right and then the name that's here you also put up as the first header inside your blog and you use it in the SEO focus keyword right you use it in the focus key phrase and that's SEO they, they say you're supposed to be you're supposed to use this phrase right the, your 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 uh, SEO phrase later on and you're not like you're not supposed to be making phrases complex like this like what I'm doing you're supposed to not have you know uh, stop words they call and to the that kind of stuff uh, I don't bother that much with that but the the point is that I do create the content based on a, a same keyword every time I create a post I, I use that everywhere right so what I do what I do then let's just make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see so what I do then is if I look at this folder right in this folder as you saw we have uh is that I guess I can make that a bit bigger in this folder right we can see that I have these files let's do this again okay we see I have all these files right that are named the same name clicky course like I said earlier and then I have all these other little files that I'm using to create my content so when I go to for example to um LinkedIn or when I go to Facebook when I try to post when I go to um or Pinterest when I post on SoundCloud I have all these files that contain parts of the post like LinkedIn posts if I look at this this file here contains the whole text I want it to post in my LinkedIn post including something that I put in every single one of my posts right like a footer right and then I have a, a first comment thing that I add to each of my posts and I also have the well the title of the post is all here it always says click course income secrets so it's it's you know it makes it easy for me to create my content right so if I look at the less the rest of the files like the Pinterest post right and the thing is that you can take your blog post and then cut and paste into all these things everywhere and that might work that would work as well but the thing is that in each uh, in each of your um, uh, the social media posts that you're doing like you're going to Facebook you're going to LinkedIn you're going to Instagram you're going to you know um, um like I said SoundCloud you're going to, I'm, I'm doing a click e-course all these different places um they don't have the same number of maximum characters right so whenever you're pasting you get an error you got to fix it whatever so that's why I use automation because the automation knows the maximum for each of the different platforms it takes just a part of the text because I don't want to post the whole content on all the platforms I want to post a teaser I want people to come to my blog I want them to come to my blog and then to get engulfed in my world and then you know click on the links to get my ebook and to do get on my list and that kind of stuff right and you want that too so that's what you want you want people to get on your list you want to grow your list you want to grow your audience you want people to to be in your content right so you want them to go to your blog so that's why every single uh post I have uh, this link now the other thing is as you can see my link is a full link with the same text as well that's my blog post that's one of the things you do in WordPress there's a setting under um permalinks right settings permalinks right there where you're going to want to change the where you're going to make sure that it says post name because the default is plain this is the default that means that the links will have a p and then a, a post number right <coughs> but I want the post name and I want it to have the actual title right in the <coughs> in the um in the in the uh, thing so that's one example right here where they talk about permalinks why they're so important in SEO right that kind of talks about that there 
<coughs> okay so uh let's go back I'm kind of going back and forth I'm trying to kind of tell you about some of the things now all these things are automated for me in my I have a script that runs that does all this for me I just I just do octo I call it octo content prepare it's a script that uh that does this uh let's just uh, go show it to you just for fun uh octo scripts so this script here is a script that will allow me to create screen defs it'll allow me to create thumbnails a gif it'll allow soundcloud screenshot position uh it'll allow me to trim the videos um create these snapshots and then there's files so it generates files like all these files right that we're seeing here all these text files right so first I have to uh, create this file this episode this full text file is basically the text from the blog now this is stuff I have to do manually because I don't have the uh the in this the automation of this syndication right so uh, this file here is the same text I have on my blog and the way I do it is I just cut and paste put it in there and I do a bit of editing because of the uh, because of the lines and things like that but then I create this file that takes me just you know a minute or so after I've I've created the blog post and uh, that gives me the the long then I create a short text which is basically the first few parts of the blog with dot 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 right um and after that when I run the when I run my script I generate all these files here right Facebook live jukebox LinkedIn uh these ones LinkedIn post Pinterest post SoundCloud post YouTube post right so if I look at the YouTube post it's you know the text it's the text from the from the course it starts like this that's the title and then I start the text without course income secrets in the case of YouTube right if I look at the Pinterest one it's got the title like this and then it starts the text at the second line in my because it includes how to set up and then the next line is that right if I look at the Facebook post my Facebook post I have the title like this and then I have the whole description which includes the title and that's that's just the way the different platforms are I kind of did it like this and uh, that's kind of that's going to be part of the syndication uh, automation that you're going to be able to get and click eCourse is going to be able to generate all these different things for these different platforms right the the list of platforms and the and whether to generate a YouTube image or a YouTube sorry text or whether to generate a LinkedIn post or those kinds of things they're all going to be based they're all going to be kind of selectable um the features I have planned for let me just kind of look at this uh, my notes because uh that'll be easier for me to so basically my syndication is going to it's going to allow me to uh, select a video so the first thing is you got to set a video upload a video give a YouTube link you know whatever the, depending on if, if Vimeo link even a Facebook live link if you wanted uh you don't have to uh it doesn't have to be um on your computer it can actually be a Facebook live that you did as long as the public video you'll be able to specify it as your video right then you have to add assets to your syndication you're going to have the ability to choose a default configuration where you want to do that every single day or every time you do your syndication you're going to have a default syndication setup right so do a gif do a do a, a linkedin post do a soundcloud post do a youtube post do a facebook live post do a you know whatever a weber text for for your email list all these things is going to be a default and then you're going to be able to change it for every single time if you want but you're going to be able to specify a thumbnail position in the video um you're going to be able to you know specify whether the text has the the has the title in the header or whether it has a, some sort of footer text like for example LinkedIn if you want to have the same you know hashtags in your LinkedIn post it'll be there so you'll be able to do that then after you've got that you're going to be able to view every single piece of asset in the platform and you're going to be able to use an easy cut and paste to paste to the other platform now we're not automating the posting uh, there's lots of reasons why but um, it's going to be really quick to post right now me when I'm posting using these text files and all this on my computer it takes me about 15 to 20 20 maybe 20 minutes to post on I post on uh first I upload to YouTube that's in that's independent I start that earlier and I just let it run because it takes a bit and then I do the blog post I, I create the blog post whatever right 
once that's done once the video is ready once the blog post is completely done because I include the video in the blog post um, then I share the short video to LinkedIn I share and then I, I share it to multiple to about eight groups and on my page right then I sh I I, sh I create a Facebook live using OBS using a Facebook live stream from the original video in Facebook and once that's while that's happening I share it to Instagram and in the in IGTV right and then once and then then I share and I can do that at the same time it doesn't really matter it depends on what, what I'm doing but then I share the Facebook uh, uh actually while the Facebook live is going on I share that to a bunch of groups on Facebook and I share to Pinterest right so um I'm let me just kind of show you because I'm kind of talking I should probably show you right what I'm doing what I'm talking about let me just go here to this fella here and bring that over to here all right let's bring that over to here this is my the computer that I do all this stuff on so first of all like I said I upload it to YouTube right I go and I create and I upload video to YouTube right I do that that's number one I upload the video once that's done once the video is uploaded I create my blog post I go to my blog post I click on the post here and I do a well I've already created it then I go edit the post right and I add the video to the post right I go to uh, my video details here and I get the link I take the link from the Facebook from the YouTube video like this get shareable link then in my blog post which is still loading I put the video right here in the top of my blog post now the way you do your blog post obviously can be a little different but that's kind of how I do that right then what I do is uh no wrong one uh, right over here then what I do is I go to my LinkedIn I go to my LinkedIn I start a post right here I take the text out from uh, this uh, vid this file right I take the text from this file I take all this text right here like this I copy it and then I go to LinkedIn and I paste it right in here and then I choose a video and I choose my trim video I always use a trim video because I don't want people to see the whole video on all the platforms I want them to come back to the blog so I do this and then and then it's then it's ready to uh, to, sh to share and then I just post right I'm not going to do it right now because that's already it's discarded I've already posted this yesterday right after I've done that I like I said I go to my 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 uh, LinkedIn page I shared there too um <clears throat> on my LinkedIn page then after that I go to Facebook I go on Facebook I go to my Facebook page that I want to share it on I create a new live I just go here I say live right whoops I guess you couldn't didn't see that there's a live thing right there and in here I do the same thing I I create my um <clears throat> I go into my Facebook I do this my Facebook page I get the text from Facebook I get the title right here right I copy the title I post the title right here like this then I take the rest of the text I take all this including the link all the way to the bottom and I paste it right here like this in the in the description right then I go share to more pages in my case I just select all my pages I probably should be doing something better and then I go to share to my pages groups they're already selected that's a new thing I guess I used to have to do this every single day but now it's all automatic and then I I say use persistent screen key I start OBS and then I go and I choose the video that I want which is a, a five minute video right and I go I actually create this one moment thing right which because I want to start the, I don't want to start the video before I'm ready so I actually do this one moment thing right here right which is the screenshot of the video that I did that I captured and then I go to uh to the Facebook and I just say you know uh well actually after I'm ready I just say start streaming right here in in OBS and if you want if you see this you can see down the bottom it's can you see it no let's move this up a little bit uh, hold on let's move this guy up a little bit so you can kind of see it better 
so you can see down the bottom there where it's uh, where it's saying it's live for 17 seconds it's actually not live it's in UB OBS it kind of starts streaming sending it to the to the streaming server the Facebook server and that's how long it's been sending it to server but it's not live yet but if I look at this oh let's just uh, if I look at this over here you can actually see the actual live right now that's what it looks like if I were to click on the button go live right now this is what people would see right and what I so what I do is in, in OBS you can switch what they call switching <laughs> scenes so I start with this and then as as soon as I click <laughs> the go live right here within a second or two I click on this video only and it switches it to the video and starts playing the video right so it's it's alive but it's not alive right and that allows uh, the video to play on Facebook that allows me to go back and and do other things like there's a couple of things I got to do I got to add the video to my audience in Facebook and my uh, ads manager then I got to go to Facebook on I use my phone to do that I go and share it on my profile I share it to pages I share it to groups things like that and but that's all live right now right I, I click around while it's live and that takes about five minutes because as you can see right here the time is the time is going down right there right 42 is there's four fifty four minute 50 uh, video I guess it's a little let's move this oops you can kind of see right here right that's a four minute 50 four minute 50 second video that I I create <coughs> um and so so that plays for that amount of time it's automatic right it's just it's just a video that's playing but it's alive in Facebook right um okay so then after that's finished and while that's happening like I said I go to my phone and I and I I actually copy the video from my computer to my phone and I share it on Instagram you know there might be a way to do it now they allow I don't know if they allow posting but anyways that's that's what I do and then I go to uh soundcloud I upload a new file I just go in here and I say the wave file right and then I choose an image which is the thumbnail for soundcloud which includes podcast number on there right and then I put the text I go back to here same thing I just take the soundcloud file and I take this title right here right and I push put that in here and then I go and I take the whole description out of here whoops wrong one with the little y includes the text go back to here and I paste it in there right so I do all that I do all that then I do a uh, Pinterest I upload in Pinterest as well I create a new pin in Pinterest with the videos right as you can see I'm getting 100 uh, video views 107 uh average four seconds five seconds four seconds 14 seconds right here that's pretty good uh six five nine right so I mean it's it's there's 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 activity there's things going on right people are seeing my stuff and they would see your stuff too and that's the idea is you got to be posting like I said regularly that you're you're posting everywhere you know you're posting everywhere you're starting off with a small piece a content just one piece of content well two really you're starting out with two pieces of content you process them all to generate all these files for your different social media platforms and you share to those platforms and in my case I and and this is this is kind of what happens right when I upload to SoundCloud it's available on SoundCloud but it's also available on iTunes because of the integration you can do when I post a Click eCourse the short video it goes to Alexa Alexa feed I use Click eCourse feed and uh, that's kind of how that works if you want to do that uh let me just kind of show you if I go back to do I not have it anywhere oh I think I might have put it in a separate window right here if I go to click eCourse <coughs> uh and I go to the courses I created you can see right here CIS for Alexa right basically all it is it's it's a it's a placeholder for Alexa for um Alexa skills Amazon Alexa skills and that's just what I do and the way I do it is I just upload the videos right as you can see right here I've got all these videos uh, near the bottom I started putting the Alexa the actual podcast they're all videos but the way that this works is that there's feeds right here 
that you get automatically with any any course that you create on Click eCourse you'll get you'll get these feeds and you can use the RSS feed or the Alexa feed to share to Alexa when you're setting up your Alexa skill you need an RSS feed which is uh, in the case of Alexa it's a JSON file so if I just open this in a separate you're going to see that it basically gives us a JSON file that you can then use this URL in your Alexa configuration I'm probably going to have to do a I'm probably going to have to do a, a training on exactly how to do that from A to Z right how to get your Alexa um, how to get your daily podcast your daily even your daily videos into podcast format so you can go to like anyways there's so much there's so much to do but you know if you're interested in that just let me know because I I would I might do that soon but the idea is that once you've got the feed then you can use that so the other thing is if I go back to my courses there's another the other one is course income secrets which is basically all these episodes the full length ones I put them here as well as on YouTube and as you can see they're all in here right uh 30 minutes 31 minutes 39 minutes 35 these are videos so you can go watch the videos here or uh with the feeds right here I have the Alex the RSS feed which I use for um for Google Podcasts for Spotify for uh, Stitcher um I could use it probably for iTunes as well but I kind of have an iTunes and created with the SoundCloud one so it doesn't really matter but if you look at this one this is a XML RSS feed which is basically an iTunes format as you've got it's got all the episodes in here and that's how the iTunes or well I like I said iTunes is not configured but that's how iTunes and Spotify and Stitcher and you know these all these all these audios right iHeartRadio I'm still waiting for approval but Spotify Google Podcasts and Stitcher they use this clicky course feed to share amongst there's probably other podcast services like that I could maybe connect to uh, but anyways it's it would all be using the same feed right you just got to register those feeds with them okay so so yeah so that's it anyways I'm I'm way overboard here normally I do a 30 minute video but like I said if you want to do this you just need to start with a video and then a text which could be text or in your video on YouTube and then you got to just generate a bunch of things and then you have them available to post on all the different platforms and then you use automation for some of the other platforms so you can automate some of that too all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions feel free to reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time